Swipers, y'all getting y'all credit right, y'all getting access to capital, y'all getting money from these banks, and y'all looking for more ways to invest them swipes. Now, I know a lot of you guys follow me, and y'all be like, hey man, I want to get off in that real estate, real estate investing, which is something that I do. But teaming up with them, I found out about this mobile home investing and how that is some sauce to get into. So they came to join me to share this information with y'all on how. We can all get in this and make us some nice money. You dig what I'm saying? We can make us some nice money off the swipe. Get into that. All right, so, Ken and Joe, how y'all feeling? Man? Oh, we feel fantastic. fantastic. And thank you so much for having us here. We appreciate it. Yes, hey, I appreciate y'all tapping in with me. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when we first talked about this, Ken, I'm about to share the story with people how this, how this happened. You know, I got excited. I got excited and I was like, this is something that people need to hear, especially my audience need to hear. Like I say, a lot of people want to invest, but they looking for big time investments. And the way you broke it down, I was like, man, this is amazing. So let me give y'all a little little sauce on how this happened. So Kenny tapped in with me, you know, I got my Patreon account, right? With my CJU members. So everybody who subscribes to my Patreon, get access to message me, talk with me, and I do live Zoom calls, right? I do live Zoom calls with everybody, get on the talk. So I remember I was in there talking, and I was like, man, you know, investment strategy, what we can invest in, this, this, and that with the group. And then Kelly comes in one day, and she just said, like, hey, CJ, you ever thought about mobile homes? And I was like, nah, I heard about them. Uh, well, hey, man. <laughs> and I remember you said it so easy, like, hey, man, you know, I feel some good cash flowing off this, and they don't cost that much to get in, and a few thousand. I was like, huh? Huh? Like, I'm thinking about how much we spend on, you know, on real estate and with credit. And I'm like, huh? And you were like, yeah, it's something you should look into. And I said, hey, Kelly, uh, after we get out the Zoom card, I'm going to have to hit you up. We're going to have to talk. We might hit you up. Exactly. You sure do. Exactly. I'll So, uh, but go ahead and tell, tell a little, a little bit how you end up finding me. How do we even, even end up get up on the Zoom call and Patreon? How you even well, tap into CJ? Well, so anyway, Chris, me and my brother, we've been in the mobile home business for a little bit. And every time we go get supplies, like to paint the house or whatever, get flooring, whatever, I would use my debit card. My brother's got a headache. Oh, my God. You using your debit card? You need to you put your credit card. Oh, my God. You, you need to listen to this guy, CJ. I'm like, who is CJ? I didn't even know who you were. He would get a headache. He would actually leave the store. Just left the store with me with the debit card. And then I said, you know what? I won't see why my, my brother gets so pissed off at me every time I break down my debit card. Mm-hmm. And finally, I looked you up on YouTube, and I, and I found you. And I, however, I was on my way to Vegas. I said, I didn't have time to look mm-hmm. at you. And when I got back to Vegas, I looked you up, and I'm like, man, I have been doing this the wrong way. I should have never mm-hmm. used my debit card. We have been paying for mobile homes using our own cash. Yes, and are. since I took your course, no longer. And so that's how we got hooked on you. And then I started being in your Patriot uh, meeting. And Zoom and call. And Zoom call. And I bought up the mobile homes because I heard you guys always talking about real estate. And, mm-hmm. You know, that could be kind of pricey for the average mm-hmm. person. But a mobile home can offer you a different avenue. Thank you. Thank you. And so, Joey, thank you, too. Oh, man, <laughs> thank listen, you, too. Oh, thank but you, no. man. Hey, listen, you kind of changed our lives with that. You definitely. Like, you we were always spending our capital with that. And you found out how to swipe the cards and uh, uh, eliminate using the debit card and using the cash, pulling the cash off the credit card. It really changed. Because when, when, when you look at it, when you look at it, when you finally get into it, you realize how much it just makes sense. How much it makes right. sense. Especially right. if you already have a good credit. Right? right. So... A lot of times, people think that um, that you got to come in from the back way. Like I told you, remember how I started? I came in from the back way, not having access to capital. Maybe you got to get your credit fixed mm-hmm. and work your way up. But there's a lot of people out there that got good credit. Yeah. They don't even know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's another side to it. Right. And, and got good credit and actually has a business. Yeah. So that's why this information is big for you guys out there who have good credit. You have 700 credit scores. 800 credit, because I remember you telling me your credit yeah, was already yeah, good. Yeah, our credit was good. Matter of fact, Chris, my brother, our last mobile home we tried to purchase before your course, my brother was like, ask the park manager, can we use the credit card? And I'm thinking, I'm not about to embarrass myself and ask this lady, can we use a credit card? I ain't never heard of nothing. 
like that before. And then sure enough, after I took your course, I realized how right he was. Yeah, because it's it's not about you not having the money. It's just using the OPM, using other people's money. Being smart about it, You know what I'm saying? Being smart about it, like we was talking about before. Like, let's not act like this is something new. This has been going uh, for a long time, mm-hmm. and then when you start to really scale, you realize how many like rich people still don't use their own money, right. and, they, and they and they get it, you know. So, um, the mobile home aspect of it um, is is just great. Just talking to you guys before and talking about Patreon, meeting up with you guys is great. So, right here, what I have is some questions, you know, that I wrote mm-hmm. down um, that I know the audience is going to be interested in to to learn a little bit about it. Because again, when we hear mobile homes. What what we usually think? Just a downside of right? Downside. Oh, nobody yeah. wants to live there. It's just for poor people. But that's that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Let me learn it for y'all. So I think it's important, you know, just like created to educate people on it. So the best way to do is to ask the question. So the first thing I want to jump into, guys, is just tell everybody, you know, how did y'all get started? Like, like how you got started in, in mobile home investing? Well, our business is pretty much uh, a family. Uh, me, my mother, and my brother. Mm-hmm. And when my mother was in better medical uh, shape, she was able to go drive him for dollars and this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. And so my mother has actually owned several single-family homes. And so we learned from her. And we do own several single-family homes flat out. Mm-hmm. And we pay cash. We didn't use any credit card. Mm-hmm. And so from there, we started looking on YouTube. You know, like doing real estate was a little pricey. And we found out about how you go about investing in mobile homes. And so we started doing our little research. And before you know it, I went and got my license. And me and my brother started doing mobile homes. Okay, good, mm-hmm. good. So when you first got into mobile home investment, was it something that, oh, I like it immediately? Was it rough at the beginning? Was it something that you just seen like, okay, like the very first time you got into it, this is something I could do long term? Or did you have to work your way into that? I'm going to tell you the truth. It was like hitting the lottery without playing the lottery. Really? It was yeah. so easy to do. It was kind of scary. You know, when we really? sold a mobile home, my first couple of mobile homes, it was like something ain't right. You know, something's going to happen. But it never did, and it just got better and better and better. And so, so just out the gate, I'm in this. I, yes. I'm staying in this. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so when she started, you ended up coming in a little later. I just followed the path of my big sister. So she said, let's go. We're going. All right, man. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Man, and that's why that's why I, I like the energy y'all have, family. Mm-hmm. Man, this is the this is something that like right now with, with people who are trying to do something as groups, groups again, I'm just a family. That's what y'all represent. Mm-hmm. That 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 hey, she went out there and and jumped out into something and brought it back to the family. Mm-hmm. Like right. that's big. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because you know it was an opportunity she brought to you, and then now she has a partner to just. You know, right. so my brother, that's, that's really you definitely can't do it by yourself. You right. Can't okay, what part. you do with life, you can't do anything by yourself. The same thing I said with traditional real estate, man, and, and that's why I tell a lot of you guys out there, man, for, for real, I'm really telling y'all that when you want to jump into real estate, um, traditional real estate, single family, uh, multi family, or even like you say right here in this mobile home, guys, partner up is the best way. Do not just jump out there with all your capital and, and think, first of all, think you know it all. You know, that's a big, big mistake. So, again, Get you a group of people that can really help you. And that's why bringing them here is to give y'all the information because y'all going to be able to tap in with them, okay? Now, uh, as I go on with the questions, y'all tapping in with them, down in the in the description, you're going to see the link. You're going to see the link of the courses that they have, you know what I'm saying, with the information that's out there, you know, because you guys really need to tap into a coach. You really need to tap into a mentor. You know, I'm going to get some more information going, but make sure you guys fully tap in because you got to do this. As a group, it's the best way to get started, all right? So, y'all tell me how y'all got started. You did some research. Right. So, you got the experience. I got the experience. You got the experience, right. okay? So, is there any, my second question is, is there any special license you need no, you to get in there? You don't need a special license. Matter of fact, my brother's my license. You don't need a special license to do this. I just got the license because I noticed when I go and talk to the park manager, they prefer that I have a license. Sometimes mm-hmm. they'll ask me, do you have a license? And I'll say, yeah, I have a license. I give my license number. And I notice they're a little bit at ease because they want to deal with somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, not saying my brother don't know what he's doing, but they want to deal with somebody who knows how to buy and sell more. Buy and sell. How to sell. Just give you a little bit more respect. Exactly. Yeah, like, and the crazy mm-hmm. thing about it, Chris, a lot of the park managers who I do business with, some of them don't have don't licenses. Have license but they want you to have licenses. That's yeah, the yeah. About. yeah. But so, so you're saying it's not... 
It's not mandatory, ma mandatory to have. Uh, no. And let me ask you, so the, the license, it's a regular real estate uh, well, it license? it has nothing to do with real estate. It has to do with buying and selling mobile homes. Buying so, and selling mobile right, homes. Right, so, so I yeah. have a license in the state of Texas. It varies from state to state, mm -hmm. but I have a license in the state of, of to, Texas. To, to buy and sell mobile homes. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Okay, perfect. And then again, that's why it's good to connect with somebody like yourself right. to right. get that information. And, and, and the partnership, because I know you, you were telling me before and that you're actually coaching people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they can, they can, like you had some people that call you to help you negotiate right. for them too. Huh? Right. Okay. I, exactly. I have no problem taking phone calls. I'm very, me and my brothers are very compassionate about this business. Mm -hmm. So I have no problems. Anybody calling me, I have no problems talking to people about this Perfect, phone. perfect. Hey, man, I'm telling y'all, catch it. Yeah. Hey, look. Catch it right now when they're available, <laughs> man, because this stuff going to be hot. Click the link. Hey, click the link down below, man, in the description. Go ahead and sign up. These people are available. Y'all know how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? We get to the point that we're not too big for nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love when I'm tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in with me. And we're going to put that right back out to them. You buy, you know what I'm saying, their course. They're going to be here to follow up with you. They're going to be here to talk with you. They really, they really care about helping people. That's why this is going to be so great. Because y'all know this how I rock, and I know this how they rock, okay? She was doing the answer the phone call. I know Joe was even saying, like, man, she answered the phone a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, everybody, everybody. That's good, man. We're trying to make sure everybody gets taken care of. That's real good, okay? So you told me how y'all started. No special, you know, license just required, but it's, it's pretty good to have it. You know right. what I'm saying? For, for mm -hmm. finally going to treat you in the game. Now tell me this, y'all roles. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your roles in. Now walk me into, like, going to get the deals. How is it working? You know what I'm saying? So I know sometimes you in a different state. Right. He's there. So I know we're talking about virtually, get it right. done virtually, right? So right. what's our roles in rehabbing and, so, and buying and purchasing now? So Chris, I'm a registered nurse. So I fly in between Texas and California, but Texas is my home. Mm -hmm. And so I make pretty good money there in California. So I prefer to continue on working. Mm -hmm. And what, what we do is to build up the capital because I never thought about using a credit card. So I figured I still need my job to build up the capital. And that's what we were doing. And so what happens is me and my brother, we would buy the mobile homes or, or with my mom, and we would buy the mobile homes. And what, what would happen is my brother would be like the, the project manager. So he would, you know, I'll tell, I'll let him tell you what he does as far as that goes. And then after that, I would fly back to California after we would purchase the mobile home. And you say you, so you and Kelly, so you was able to do it virtually. I can do it virtually. I don't have to be in the state. So you would just research it online? or Research it online. My brother would have his camera. He'll do the walkthrough and everything. I'm looking, you know. I have showed him what to look for. He's, he's ex an expert at it at this point. And so I trust his judgment, him and my mother. And from that point on, we decide whether or not we're going to buy the mobile home. Gotcha. So we can, so just like, you know, somebody can be, um, in this state, but they can partner up with somewhere else that where the mobile oh, homes is hot and get it done. Oh, you know, get it done. And get it done. Because like you know, we all over the place. Right. Like I said, me and Kelly take that's perfect. So yeah. if 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 you were there, well what you are there, looking at the mobile homes, so what are some of the things you're looking for? Some of the things I would probably look for is like the, the outside scenery, if they have a pool for the amenities, uh, any type of uh, uh kid playground. And on the house part, you know, you want to look at the ceiling, the floors, any leakage, anything like that. The AC, if it's working and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I would probably compare notes with my sister and we would say, hey, is this a go or not? So, main thing. So, we're looking to see if the, the roof is needs some mm -hmm. work. Yeah. Does it have an AC or not? Right. Um, and I, I don't know, we're talking about um, soft spots in the floor. Soft spots in the floor. Right. Yeah. That, that's a thing in mobile homes. Right. 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 Soft spots in the floor right. by the master, by the yeah. master bed, bedroom tub that seems to be an issue. Seems to be an issue. Uh, the AC units, the window units, it has to have an AC unit. Well, if it has an AC unit and it's in the window, I don't want nobody to assume that the park is going to allow you to continue on having that. AC unit because that person who already owns that mobile home might be grandfathered into having that AC in the window. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes when you buy a mobile home, you got to make sure that they're not requiring you to have central air. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. So that's just little thing things like that. Yeah. And, right. and kind of like a tra tra traditional real estate. I just know that looking at the uh, the mobile homes, you know what I'm saying, the, the repairs, um, it's similar to looking at owning the house. So that's, that's right. some of the main things. Right. Some of the things you have to Right. Uh, plumbing, plumbing, you know what I'm right, right, right. You know what I mean? Um, the outer exterior, you know, make sure everything just just wear wear and tear on that. 
Okay, cool, cool. So, what, uh, so I would say this, so when you're looking at those type of things, question I have, so when you're looking at those type of things, that's going into your negotiation, right? Exactly. So, let's say, let's give an, give an example here. Um, if somebody having their, their price mm-hmm. for the mobile home, right? Um, if the roof is not well, if the AC unit, so you're going to negotiate to deduct those prices of the purchase, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, how uh, just give me an average price. Let's go with an example. An average price of a mobile home can cost just to give the viewers an idea. Okay, walk it through. One. What's the average price of purchasing a mobile home? So let's say we went up to a, to, to a park. Mm-hmm. All right, let's give it the whole the whole view here. So we got the park, right? So the park is where the mobile homes are placed in. Right. Correct. Right. right. So you have a park owner. Correct. Right. You have the park owner who owns the, the whole area. Then you have the park, park manager, manager who manages all the mobile homes. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So you would go up to a, a park, right. right? And then you would look at a potential mobile home for sale. Right. Yeah. For right. sale for sale by owner. That's for sale. Right. For sale by owner. Get, right. Because you're looking for a motivated owner mm-hmm. who's trying to sell their mobile home to you. Sell the mobile and home. And they have to be motivated. You know? Motivated. Right. Got you, got you. So I go over to a, a park, I find out there's a motivated seller mm-hmm. who's getting ready to sell their mobile home. Mm-hmm. So you'll pull up, you give them a call. If they have a phone number, I prefer to call them. But if there's no phone number, sometimes they just have a sign. I have no problem just knocking on the door and we just have a conversation. They'll let me in nine times out of ten. We've never not been let in a home. And we just start the negotiation from that point on. And like I said, my brother and I, we kind of look at what's going on. Is there something going on with the roof? Is this the electrical? You know, we just kind of go down the list. And we kind of explain to them why this house is possibly price too high mm-hmm. and uh, we just let them know that you know this is what we can offer you uh, concerning the mobile home and we just go from there and like my brother said we also check out the amenities I mean do y'all have a swimming pool here you know because mm-hmm. across the street they have a swimming pool do you have a basketball court because across the street they got a basketball mm-hmm. court so we do like a comparison and we show them hey this mobile home I know you want this dollar amount but this is all I can offer you because at the end of the day, we have to make a profit as well. Mm-hmm. So that's what we do. So the price is usually going, yeah, it's kind of similar to what we said. So they're going to have the action price. You go in there and see if the house needs any repairs. Right. If the house needs some repairs, you be like, hey, man, we're going to deduct a few of these prices. Well, we do the right. dollars off this action price because of the work we're going to have to put in. Right. Also, uh, about appliances. Right, do the appliances thing. Okay, because across the street, we found a mobile home that the dishwasher, the refrigerator, and the stove stay. But you're telling me you're taking the appliances. Mm. So right now, I can't give you that dollar amount because you're telling me I'm going to have to get some appliances for your particular mobile home. Got you, so, got you. Mm-hmm. So, so we negotiate a price. We get a price for that works for you and the seller. The seller's like, okay, cool. I understand the rehab. I understand what you got to do the rehab. Cool. Mm-hmm. Y'all close the deal. You go into contract. Well, we don't quite close the deal because I need to make sure you own that mobile home. Ah. You see, here in the state of Texas, we're out, uh, we can get on the computer to see if you own that mobile home. Because we've had a situation or two where somebody tried to sell us a mobile home and they don't own it. So, mm-hmm. really, I'm negotiating with the wrong person. And nine times out of ten when something like that happens is because the paperwork and transferring the title was never completed. And then you have a buyer, they're a homeowner, who believes they own it. They really believe they That's own common. it. That's Yeah, it's mm-hmm. common. Yeah. And once we look in the computer and we show them, because I bring the computer with us, and we show them, you don't own this mobile home. We need to find this person so we can transfer the title. And they've been living in the home for years. And yeah. they so that's common to yeah. make sure. Right. right. To, to, to make sure. Right. Now, similar with the traditional real estate as well, um, that you need to make sure they actually to own it. Right. Now, another thing about, uh, we talk about the park. Mm-hmm. The park. So the people out there who are interested to go in and go purchase these mobile homes, mm-hmm. say they do their research, they find out these people do own the mobile homes, they do get the loan right. Now, we have to talk to the park. We have to talk to the park manager and ask them, do you want to purchase this mobile home? Because they have the right to purchase that mobile home before we as investors do. Mm. Because if you really think about it. And that's very important that's for everybody very, that's to know. very important. Yeah. You just can't go buying a mobile home without talking to the park manager. And because nine times out of ten, sometimes they do want that home to stay there. They, they're afraid that if you buy it, you're going to move it. 
and that's going to decrease their revenue in that particular park. So you have to have a conversation with the park manager, and I would not trust the seller telling me that. So what we like to do, we like to go and talk to the park manager with the seller so we can all get an understanding. I go to the park and say, hey, y'all don't want this home, right? This is what I'm offering him or her for this home. You don't want it. And now we're like, no, I'm not going to pay that price for that mobile home. Y'all can go ahead and buy it. Got you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to go into some, a couple more things uh, mm -hmm. about what you're looking for in the house, uh, the mobile home house. But I want to touch on this. So the people that are listening, like, okay, I see you got to do this. I see you got to do this. I see you got to talk about this. So why would I want to even get involved with one of the organizations? Let, let, let's give a hit in here on the ROI, right? Like, mm -hmm. why would I even want to go through what we just talked about? Like, because I know most people are like, well, how much money can I make off this? You know what I'm saying? So. Let's, let, let, let's jump into that real quick as far as like how much the return on the investments you make for even dealing with these mobile homes. Well, Chris, you're not going to believe it, but there's a lot of mobile homes that are free. Free. Exactly. So there's no way to go but up when you're talking about free. But in our situations, we have made anywhere between 100 to 300% return on our money, and that's very common in the mobile home business. Very common. Very yeah. common. So... I'm going. I'm. I'm. Just, I'm going to the park, finding a motivated seller, working this out with the with the with the park manager. Make sure I'm getting it right. Right. Make sure the, I'm right. getting right. The park manager, motivated seller, expecting it, making sure the the rehab and everything is there to where it makes sense on a dollar amount. We close the deal. I buy this mobile home. Give me an average price. Uh, it depends on needs. We have never paid any more than maybe four thousand dollars for the rehab. 000. That's on the high end. We have never paid any more than that for, you know, any kind of rehab. Now, we have run into a situation where we needed a new roof and an AC. That got a little pricey, maybe $8,000. But still, I mean, the problem That's way is, less than traditional real exactly, estate. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Way less than traditional right. real estate. So, uh, average price. I know price can vary. Again, average price of a mobile home somewhere can be between seven, eight thousand. Um, we've actually, my mother actually found a mobile home for us that um, the gentleman wanted eight thousand dollars. We paid three thousand dollars for that mobile home, and we turned around and sold it for fifty nine thousand five hundred dollars on payments. So the startup home. capital is way less than actually like a traditional home. Yeah. So you can get in the game. You can get in these mobile homes at three thousand, right. four thousand, five thousand dollars. Exactly. No thousand sometimes. <laughs> no, and so, sometimes for free. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Put a little work in there. Put a little work in there. So let's let's go back into numbers. So getting it up to, to fifty thousand or sixty at the price that you're selling right. it for. Right. So now we're going into owner financing. Right. Yeah. Right. We own a finance all of our properties. And we have done some wholesale deals as well, but we own a finance all of our properties out. Owner financing. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about owner financing here. Okay. So I get this mobile home, I go down, I find one. I get I get I get one of those good ones for like five thousand, and I say, man, I'm about to put four grand in it. Mm -hmm. I'm all in for nine thousand, right? Mm -hmm. And then I get the listed up. Let me ask you this: How am I finding out the price of what I can charge for this mobile home? How are you finding your listing price? Well, you can check uh, Facebook Marketplace to see what homes of that same maybe year. The, the bedroom, three bedroom, two bath, you can kind of figure out like what homes have sold for. Or you can sometimes go to the park manager and ask, hey, do you have a home that's a three bedroom, two bath, that's maybe a $19.99? What did it sell for last? You know, you can do stuff like that. But sometimes you don't even have to bother the park manager. It's just a quick little quick internet search. search. Quick right. internet search. Right. And how long are you getting these houses off the market? What's your deal? Uh, the quickest home is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, right. home is 15 minutes. So we don't keep our homes very long. So, and, see, and that's, what, that's what I want to put out there to you guys. I don't think we really, most of us who are not into mobile homes, uh, understand mobile homes, live in mobile homes, know somebody in mobile homes, mobile homes investing, I don't think we understand how hot it is. It's hot. It's a hot market. It's hot. It's hot. Like when, when, when it's available that people are searching and moving to them. Right. 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 So you say one was gone in 15 minutes. Right. Right. Uh, other than that one, maybe a week. Maybe a week, yeah. and it's gone. It's gone. All right, so I got the I got the mobile home. I want to get somebody to come in. All right, I'm gonna own a finance this mobile home. Right. 
What are we doing? We taking a down payment? We're taking a down payment and we're checking their credit because we like to check our tenants' credit. And then okay. after that, if the credit and everything is fine, then we tell them go ahead and apply to the park. So you're gonna check their credit, well, back, background check as well? Background check and everything. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna check their personal credit, we're gonna check their background credit right. first. Right. And then once that checks out, then they need to apply to the park. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They get approved for the park. And they can move in. They get so as, and that approval gonna take some earnest money. We're gonna take some earnest money from them, yes. Right. So earnest money, if you guys don't know what that is, that's just money that how should we say you put it down in good faith that you're gonna follow through with this exactly. with this contract. So exactly. You go put a few a uh, few dollars down on the earnest money, go through the application, you get approved with you guys, you get approved by the park managers, boom, they come put their down payment down right. on the mobile home, right. and then you gotta draw the lease agreement. Exactly. Now how long are we talking on the lease agreement? Uh, we do anywhere between seven and eight year uh, eight year mobile home mortgage. So we'll have that cash flow coming in for seven to eight years. Now on the down payment, you pretty much about to recoup what you paid for the mobile home and rehab, right? Exactly, right yeah. exactly. Whatever we invest as far as paying for the mobile home and doing a little rehab, let's just say we invested ten thousand dollars, we try to at least get a five thousand dollar down payment. So you fifty percent in for what you put up. Right. And now you got monthly cash flow right. off this mobile home. Right. That's when it bring you money money back in. Right. So that's what that that's why it's just profit. It's not hard to get into this. Yeah. And it's not hard to do. Yeah. And it's a high market. It, it yeah. is very, especially with this pandemic. You know, people are losing their single family homes left and right. Oh my God. So your strategy is to buy a home, right? That's right. the strategy. You right. want to hold on to it. Right. Now, let's talk about people who maybe don't have the money for buying a mobile home or they don't have the money for the rehab wholesale opportunities, the mobile home. Right. So we actually, in my course, I did an interview with a homeless gentleman mm -hmm. who actually, that's all he does. He finds these mobile homes. He maybe pay a thousand or two thousand for the mobile home, sweeps them out, advertises them on Facebook, and that's how he makes his money. And he doesn't hold these mobile homes for very long. So you need absolutely no money to wholesale these mobile homes. All you need is the internet and maybe some gas and a car and that's it. So just like wholesaling, because I got in, when I did traditional real estate, I was doing wholesaling and actual home. Mm -hmm. And that's why I look at this mobile home information that y'all are giving out as like, I don't think anybody thought wholesaling mobile homes as an opportunity. Right. And, and there's people who made nice money of doing it. Right, right, right. And Chris, like hypothetically, if you don't have the money, you come across a free mobile home. You can wholesale that mobile home. Maybe somebody wants that mobile home off of their property. They'll tell you, I'll give this mobile home to you for free if you get this mobile home off of my lot in a month. So somebody might have a single family home somewhere? Yeah, okay. and then they, they have a mobile home on, on it, and it's an eyesore to them. And they, they'll call you and say, Kelly, we've actually gotten four free mobile homes. What? Kelly, you have one month to move this mobile home. And so we, what we do, we wholesale it to somebody else. So if I was a wholesaler and I was driving around and I actually seen a property that had a mobile home on it, would that be a potential for me to just like that? That's a possibility. Just be interested in it? Right, but you find more of those free ones on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook right, Marketplace. Right, right, Very That's rarely, them. right, exactly. Facebook Marketplace. Right, very rarely will you see somebody posting free mobile home, but you'll see it all day long on Facebook. Man, that, 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 this, this, this is great. This is great. So let me ask you this. Um, if I'm getting, if I'm getting ready to do this, you know, um, the rehab costs, you know, I know I got a question here about a contractor versus a handyman dealing with these, mm -hmm. these mobile homes. How you go about the, the rehab process? Are you doing them yourself, Joe? Yeah, I'm like a project manager with our company right here. So it's kind of like, you gotta kind of pick and choose when you wanna get a certain job because you got a lot of handyman or contractors can't do certain things. So mm -hmm. like we've learned to do a lot of the repairs ourselves. Right. Going to Home Depot and you know, going to take some of the courses and stuff like that. So we're almost at this point doing like eighty percent of all the repair. Right. The, the square the square foot, how big are these mobile homes? Is that why? Because they're not that big? Yeah, exactly, they're not that big at all. So you can actually go get a spray gun and start spraying the inside, the outside. Uh, putting the floors down, you know, laminating the countertops. 
changing or not. So people that's, that's really just trying to get into this real estate period, this is this, yeah, this is what it sounds like to me. This sounds like why some people should start off in Mobile. That's why I think this is so interesting that y'all are giving this information because most people, you, I mean, single family, multifamily homes and traditional real estate, that's not really happening. You right. have to outsource right. that. Right. Right. And so what y'all are saying, like, like Joe, have you had a major experience? Oh, before? yeah. No, no experience at all. Really? No experience at all. Now I, I consider myself almost a contractor. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm talking about, you know, a lot of things that I didn't know I could do that I can do now. Yeah, You'd be yeah. highly motivated when that, that check comes. <laughs> <laughs> when, Good. That, when that money comes, boy, you can do some things. Because you basically actually going in there because it's a mobile home, mm-hmm. because it's not too big, it's not super huge, right. it's not requiring a ton of rehab and a ton of work right. you was able to get some information touch it up yourself do it yourself and like you said when you close the first mobile home deal you doing majority of the work right. that's your proof yeah your confidence went straight to the roof you can right. do it again you right. do it again exactly so what, I, what i'm seeing from the mobile home investor is it doesn't require that much capital to start mm-hmm. it doesn't require that much capital for the rehab mm-hmm. You also can be able to do most of it yourself once you just get some some skill because it's not that big. Not that big right. You know what I'm saying? And then the return on the investment, a hundred to three hundred percent. Hey Chris, I just want to add in the mobile home business, we have a phrase: what we're doing is putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> not doing all this decorative stuff you see on on YouTube. It's not needed. We're making it. Mobile home. We're making affordable housing for people. That's what we're doing. We're not doing all this stuff you see on YouTube. We're not doing all that. Right? And it's not needed. Making it home. nice, right. neat, and clean. And for all the ladies out there, don't be intimidated. You know, <laughs> you might think this is like a male-dominated arena, but a lot of ladies are out there getting their hands dirty. You know, even if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can get the contractors, like you said, if you just want, you know, and, and get it done. I, I got a couple more. I got a couple more questions here, and then we'll get, we'll get off and talk about the course on what you get, what you guys can offer the, the, the people, man. Because again, I just want to go back over it. What's getting me is I look at how much it's costing us to do these big rehab deals, uh, real estate deals, which is lucrative. But I'm looking at volume of mobile homes. I'm looking at, well, the money we are spending in these big time real estate deals. I'm looking at, for me, I'm like, man, I'm looking at, I can grab about five, six of these mobile homes and right. get the cash flow. Exactly. About 10000 a month, huh? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, we're roughly about uh, eight thousand dollars right now a month. We still have a two bedroom, two bath that we're trying to sell right now, but yeah, the cash flow is amazing. This is coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. So let's get over to uh, the park side okay. of of the mobile homes, right? Mm-hmm. Because the goal is you guys have got you some mobile homes going. Y'all making some good cash flow. It's rolling in. Um, let's talk about the mobile home, like park side of it. I know we're gonna get into your course. You have that free, a free mobile home audio. Right. Your audio course. Well, yeah. you about that? In, in my course, we offer. I should say, in our course, we offer a free mobile home audio park buying course. Because once you get in this business, the next step is it's just human nature. You're going to want to buy a park. So with our course, we offer an audio park buying course with our course. Mm-hmm. Because the people who uh, own these mobile home parks, right. they are catching cash flow because each mobile home has to pay them right. um, it's called lot rent. They mm-hmm. have to pay lot rent, exactly. So as a tenant, you pay rent and you pay mortgage to us. Uh, you pay the lot rent. You pay the lot rent to the park and you pay the mortgage to us. The mortgage to us. Right. But okay. if you're the park owner, you could possibly own the land and the mobile you can double up. Right. And that's when people touch a million. Exactly. These park owners touch a million. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So we actually know of a couple of people who own several mobile home parks. And just cash flow. And then cash flow. And they haven't been in the business no more than three, four years tops. They started off just like me and my brother. And just scaled up. Scaled, scaled up. up a couple and, and, more and it's months. so quick, Chris. It's like scary. It's really scary. You be like, wait a minute. I'm waiting for something to happen. And it just, and it just, and it just happens like that. Mm-hmm. It just happens like that. Mm-hmm. So, the the parks, parks have ratings? The park does have a rating uh, anywhere from one star all the way up to five star parks. The parks that we like to invest in are like maybe 
three star. Uh, you know, when lower the park rating, it gets kind of iffy as far as if you plan to revamp. Mm-hmm. You know, then those lower lower scale parks sometimes like it's not, right. It's not in the best neighborhood. So we have had right, right, right. stealing some appliances and stuff in the more low end parks. So we don't. That's the same yeah. thing with traditional real estate. Right, you right. gotta watch people. People come in there, steal your car for a So that's why we choose not to invest in those. Particular What's things. a five star park? Five star park would be like newer homes, uh, a lot of amenities, a swimming pool, a basketball court, um, what do you call it, tennis court, you know, all that kind of all stuff. All that fun on the Right. Way. They might have a little uh, clubhouse on it, gated. You know, really? right. So if you find a deal in there, you're sitting on the gold mine. No, I'm talking about the eight, uh, 50, uh, 55 and up. Sometimes they're 55 and up. You know, 55 and up are, are the nicer parts. So it just depends. But um, you're sitting on the gold mine if you find a home in that particular park. Oh, man. This but is... you have to understand it's going to be hard to negotiate somebody down because they already know the type of park that they And that's considered luxury. Right, right, mobile right. Home. It ain't going to be too much talking down to those Mm-hmm. But if you're finding somebody who's giving away a home there, which is rare, you're sitting on the right. Three star is where the okay. It's, it, it's not it's not too bad. It's not super luxury. Right. We can go in there, find a motivated seller, mm-hmm. touch up their mobile home, right. put mm-hmm. it back out there, making some money. Right. 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 Now, uh investor strategy. Is owner is wholesaler owner finance owner of finance though the main two? That's the main two that we do, but there's there's other ways that you can you know get into the mobile home business, but that's the, the main two that we do. Gotcha. Now I break this down for you. I got you. Don't really know what that is. Uh, wholesaling is pretty much you not purchasing right. the mobile home. Mm-hmm. You just going in. Now the mobile homes you get another contract and you just sell it right. over to somebody else. Right. 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 So you don't have to have the money to actually purchase the mobile home. You just put it on the contract and you got to get it sent it over to somebody else. At a little higher price than what you got it on the contract right. for, and you got to make the spread on that. The owner finance, the buyer whole strategy they doing is they're actually purchasing the mobile home, they're rehabbing it, they're fixing it up, and then they're getting somebody to purchase it after they pass the credit check, background check with them in the park. They put down a earnest down money. earnest money, right. mm-hmm. they put down a down payment, and then they pay it off monthly. Exactly. And if you guys grab a couple of those, we cash flow. So let me ask you this. My swipers out there who get approved for thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand in business credit. All right. So if I had thirty thousand, what they can do for me in the mobile home game? Buy a lot of mobile homes. You can buy a lot of mobile homes there. You can really buy a lot of mobile homes. You really can. Like I said, you don't need no thousands. A lot of them are for free. You yeah. can get a lot of free. Yeah. You can get free ones. You can get free mobile homes, guys. This is this is mind blowing to me. I, I I bring up the dollar about you can get it for free, and I I think a lot of you guys out there who are looking for more investment opportunities, swipes or not, mobile home investing is something that I believe you guys need to look into. I'm definitely about to look into it. Haley and Jordan put me on so much game. It's just unbelievable for me as to, like, how I ain't, I ain't know this. It's kind of like the credit game, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How you ain't know this? And I know a lot of you guys continuously hit me up. Y'all send me messages. Chris, I want to get into real estate. Chris, I want to get into real estate. Chris, I want to get into real estate. Guys, what I need y'all to do is to tap into Kelly and Joe's right here with this amazing name, Hills, Deals, and Wheels. Well, well, tell me about that name real quick. <laughs> The heels is back in the day. I used to wear heels. Yeah. And the deals is related to the mobile homes, and the wheels is my brother likes fancy cars. So that's how we came up with the wheels. Love the name. Heels, deals, and wheels, guys. Man, I appreciate y'all so much for, for, for being Thank here with me. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? With your boy, Mr. CJ, you on the half half show. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Dropping this information. Um, is there anything else y'all want to add to tell the people and maybe talk about you know the courses and, and the coaching that you're gonna definitely do? But as far as the real estate, the real estate of mobile homes, is there anything else you want to share with people about the business that we didn't touch on? Any questions? Is there something out there you wanted to throw out to the people that it's possible you can do it? You know, is there anything y'all want to share? Well, you can do it from anywhere. You can do it virtually. You know, you don't have to actually be in the same state. And as you can see, me and my brother, we do deals all the time. He's there with his phone. 
um, they were my cell phone, and you don't have to be even in the same state. We just recently did a deal in, in Florida. You don't have to be in the same state. So a lot of people, sometimes they contact me and was like, there's no mobile homes in my state, and that's not really true. And even if it is true, you can do deals in another state, you know? As long as you have somebody with boots on the ground in that state, somebody that you trust, a deal can be done. It can be done. It's like we were saying, go get that course because you you don't actually have to purchase the mobile homes. You can actually wholesale, you know, save yourself some time and energy and money and what have you, and build a bank account like you do, and then you can go into you know, real estate. Perfect, perfect. Guys, go down in the description right here under, under the YouTube. Y'all already know. Go on there. Click the link. Okay, check out this course. It's phenomenal. I looked on it. It's 20 hours. Yeah. It's 20 hours. It's 20 hours. 20 hours of sauce. He did it for a very, very, very fair price, okay? Kelly and Joy have put so much work. They got experience. They cash flow. They got the deals. They doing it. Click the link. Check out the course, okay? Now, also tell them, you know, what they can expect in the course. I know you went on some information. It's like, what all they can expect in the course? You got some testimonies right, in there. Right. You actually going through. Right. We got some testimonies in there. I have several students that have wholesale mobile homes or the purchase mobile homes. I got all the contracts you need. I show you how to put the mobile homes in a personal property trust, mm. which that's very important. Um, I show you how to interact with the park managers. Once you build up a rapport with the park manager, and this is the reason why I really purchased your course, because we were using up all of our capital and you know, we started building up a rapport with the park manager. She was calling us so much, we were running out of capital. And then I'm thinking, there has to be a better way. And so that's why I purchased your course. And then my brother was like, hey, ask the park manager because we put it on the credit card. I'm like, don't send me in there to ask. Right. Yeah, we're going to do the credit to cash yeah. in demand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the whole course is on demand. On demand. And mm -hmm. once you purchase the course, you can call me and have any questions. I'm there. My brother is there to answer any questions you have. You will not be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. That's why I want you guys to, to really tap in because Kelly does this already. She she has so many people call her already for advice, and she's there to help people. She's going to be there, and that's what she expects. You purchase her course, you go through it, you got answers. She's there. Also, Kelly, I want you to tell them about your YouTube channel. Okay. So I do have a YouTube channel, too, and I, I, I do not deny I still work. Like mm. I said, Chris, I make very good money as a registered nurse, so I'm mm. not ready to quit. So I do have a YouTube channel, and mm. I do work, and a lot of times you will see me in my uniform, in my car, before my shift or after my shift, making a YouTube video. And that's powerful, though. That's powerful. Though. I, I have a YouTube channel here um, that you guys can click on and check uh, down below as well. But that's really powerful, guys, that she is still working and still earning income and passive income right. so that's very powerful i know i was talking about that about how we're in the culture of everybody needs to quit their job everybody needs to quit their job everybody needs to quit their job just to start a business kelly is a prime example that hey i have a job that's paying me well that i can show is earn income but i'm also able to do that right. you know what i'm saying that especially for all my younger people out there that ooh, there's no excuses you know, there's no excuses for you guys to say, I got to quit my job just to do this. No. Kelly's doing it right now and across the country. Exactly. And also, I'm retired military as well. So, I have multiple avenues and we have multiple avenues of income. Man, not that's just one. That's, that's, that's great. Again, guys, make sure y'all tap in below. Make sure y'all get the course. I want you guys to really dive into mobile home investment. Y'all about to see me go in there and grab me some mobile homes. I am not going to miss this opportunity. There's no way I am not going to be cash flowing some mobile homes for all the money I be spending elsewhere. There's no way I'm going to miss out on this. They even told me that you can get these mobile homes for free. Come on, man. Y'all got to tap in, man. Again, I appreciate y'all for being here, appreciate man. I appreciate y'all tapping in, giving this information to the audience. Mobile home investment is about to be the new hot sauce. Y'all better tap in right now, man. It's going down. Hey, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. CJU. Hap, hap.